So Paul says, does this blessedness come upon the circumcision only or the uncircumcision also? For we say that faith has reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. So what he's asking is, does this apply to Jewish people only or does this apply to everyone? Right, and many Christians today, they have that same question. There's lots of people that believe, like the black Hebrew Israelites, that they're black and they're not Jewish. So they lie and they say, uh, actually, black people are Jews. And so, you know, Jewish people are the only ones they can get into heaven. And the reason he refers to it as circumcision and uncircumcision is because if you're familiar with Jewish practices, Jews are commanded in the Old Testament to circumcise themselves. And so all Jews, they're circumcised. So one of the main ways that you can distinguish a Jew from a non-Jew, I mean, not that you would necessarily be looking there, but one of the ways you could distinguish them is by whether or not they're circumcised. So he says, let's look at Abraham. How was it reckoned then? when he was in circumcision or in uncircumcision, not in circumcision, but uncircumcision. And he received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness of the faith, which he had yet been uncircumcised, that he might be the father of all them that believe, though they be not circumcised, that righteousness might be imputed unto them also. See, Abraham is considered the father of the Jews. You know, Jewish people, they'll consider themselves children of Abraham. We read about this in the New Testament. The Jews will say to Jesus, we're not sinners, we're children of Abraham. But something to consider is that Abraham's in heaven, but Abraham never followed the law. Abraham wasn't alive when Moses was alive. You know, Moses came about like 400 years after Abraham died, if not more. Never even saw the Ten Commandments. He might have had some conception of the Ten Commandments, but he had no commandments given to him. And this race of people called the Jews didn't exist until long after he was dead. It was his grandson who was first named Israel, right? And that's what the nation of Israel is named after, that guy, Israel. So if you want proof that non-Jews can get to heaven, Abraham, Isaac, Sarah, they're all great evidence that this is true. And of course we know Noah's probably in heaven and Noah wasn't a Jew. He was you know, living like a thousand years before Abraham. So if you ever encounter a black Hebrew Israelite or a Christian identity person, anyone like that, you just point them to Abraham. You just point them to Noah.